For the third straight day, much of the country is waking up to brutal cold. Temperatures are well below average, even in the south. The West is facing back-to-back -back winter storms. The impact is drought-stricken California could be devastating. Kara Finstrom of our station, KCBS, is in Glendora, California, east of Los Angeles. Kara, good morning. Good morning. Well, here in California, when it does rain, it pours. Just behind us, you can see some of the hundreds of sandbags that are being filled up here and handed out to residents. Glendora saw some recent wildfires, which have made this area especially vulnerable to flooding and to mudslides as this storm begins to pound the area today and through the weekend. Residents here say they are as ready as they can be. The first of two California storms hit San Francisco Wednesday, soaking the Bay Area with as much as two inches of rain before heading south to the Los Angeles area late last night. Residents in Glendora are under voluntary evacuation orders. Last month's Colby fire in the area burned almost 2,000 acres. That, coupled with recent severe drought conditions, are making this area a prime candidate for flooding and mudslides. Glendora homeowners are taking no chances. We have sandbags, and behind it, we've plywooded our, our fences so to prevent them from going in the pool and the ponds. And then along the house, we put plastic and plywood and sandbags to keep it out of our house. They're trying to prevent a repeat of this devastating mudslides that damaged more than a dozen homes four years ago after seven days of torrential rain. We're preparing for the worst and hope, you know, hope for the best. Crews have been working 16 hour days to prepare for Mother Nature's one two punch. We need the water. I don't know about all in ones like that. It is a mixed blessing, but this is no cure to California's drought problems. For example, for San Francisco to reach its average yearly rainfall by June, it would need another 17 inches of rain. Charlie, Nora. Thanks, Kara.